welcome to the Chi family. Guys, welcome to the Chi family. This is the Chi family channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about something very, very important, very unique. The children don't even know because they asked me. I said something came up, so we have to make the video. So yesterday, I went out somewhere and I saw this little girl. It's a teenage girl. She was standing outside by herself. So due to the things that are going on now, I went, walked up to her to say, excuse me, are you okay? And then she said, yes, I'm fine. And I said, but why are you standing outside all by yourself? And then she said, well, that she came with people and they have spoken to her the way that she didn't like and she decided to take some fresh air. And I said, oh, okay, do you mind coming inside at least? Because outside there is a bit dark. You are not supposed to stand there by yourself. And then she told me, she said, oh, you are actually so lovely. This is the best thing I've ever heard today. I said, oh, you look beautiful. And then she said, oh, thank you. Do you have kids? I said, yes, I have two kids. I have 12 year old and I have four year old. She said, they must be so lucky to have a mom who encourages them and speak to them nicely all the time. So, the reason I'm making this video is because most of us, we tend to forget the simple ways that can help someone, that can change someone's life. So that is why we are here today. So, so today we will be mentioning few ways that can encourage somebody those nice ways that can change someone's life so if this is what you're interested in hang around and watch this video to the end so let's just get right into this video <laughs> So this video is not going to end today, we're going to have part one part two, until we finish saying this hundred kind words. Yeah. We're going to be sharing it and I want you to put your own kind words in the comment section. So the kind, first kind words that we could say to someone is hello. hello. How do you think hello can help somebody? Yes, it makes them happy and some people they hug each other, which is even better. How do you say hello to someone with Christopher? Um, hello. Maybe they just want someone to talk to. I... Hello is I... actually very important. It's simple. A greeting. Yes, it's a greeting. It's very important. Someone can be lost or someone can be like wondering about or in a very bad situation or talking to him or herself or maybe crossing the road unknown like not looking if you say hello the person you call the person's attention and that's actually very kind when you say hello you're calling the person's attention or to say i care or give a smile or hello and then maybe that hello is the first thing that person has said that day or the first thing that person has heard that day so hello is very important please try to say hello every now and then to people you see or you walk past on the street it's very important all right another one is thank you what do you think you don't have to be bad, you just have to be smiling and be happy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be bad, you have to be happy and be smiling and say thank you. Okay? Thank you is what? Thank you is a, is a way of showing gratitude to another person. Yes, it's showing appreciation. You appreciate. The Bible says, when you thank the Lord for what He has done, He will remove you. Good. So Take that's why people say thank you to people. 
so that that person say, oh, that person appreciated what I did. I want to do more for them, so that I'll get more thank yous, or not, I mean, not, not to really, get more thank you, but you know to not really to, to show that yes, not really to get more thank you, but to do more for that person for sh being so appreciative. Oh. Yeah, so I think is what it is. So, what if somebody say, please? Please is thank you and please and you are being but first you have to say please or thank you. That's good. Good. <laughs> good. So these things are things that our children should know and we adults too should apply it. Don't just teach them. You have to do it yourself. What do you think please is? Why do you how do you, why do you think it's nice? It's a nice word to use. Manners, it's manners, isn't it? So it's not, you're just not. So if you're asking something, you say please. You're not just asking, "Oh, give this to me." You're saying please in a kind way, so like, so they actually give it to you. Not think you're actually forcing them to give you something. You do have to show. You just have to say it slowly. And it also shows that you're polite as well. Okay, so she said it's manner. So some people don't even know that they have to say please, thank you, or. Please, can I have this place? Can you give me this place? Can you pass that space? So, please is a very, very kind word. And another kind word here that we take for granted is sorry. What do you think sorry is? Sorry is when you fall down, you say sorry. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? Okay. And you can help your friends when they just fall down. Them. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think sorry is? Sorry. If you say sorry to a person if you've done something wrong. Yeah, exactly. You've done something wrong to them and you feel remorseful and you just want to apologize. Okay. Because you know you've done that, you've done something wrong to them. So, what about if you haven't done anything wrong? and a, a quarrel is about to escalate or something i think you just say sorry so that you won't actually get so that it doesn't escalate quicker you just want to stop it and just forget about it yes so we take sorry is the biggest but easiest words to say but we take it for granted we we tend to say like it doesn't really matter i'm not the one that is going to say sorry first that person is not going to say no. Everyone can say sorry, and sorry comes a very, very big storm, and we don't know about it. We just have to say it, and when you say things, mean it. So it's a way of showing that you are remorseful for what you have done or what is happening, even if it's not your fault. Mm. All right, that's another good one. So, is you make me smile. Oh, you can smile when you do something right. Good. What do you think? How do you think when somebody tells you you make me smile? How do you think you will feel? If someone said you make me smile, I'd feel really happy. This is like, oh, I'm really doing, I'm doing something to make this person feel happy. So is that we can get happy too. Yes. Right. So I'm letting them to, I'm letting them show tell you how they feel i'm not going to be interpreting anything so you put your own kind word in the comment section so these words are things that we have to say to our children for them to feel happy and say it to other children who are wandering outside there not sure of what they are doing or what you are not sure of what is happening to them you need to bring them closer because they need someone to speak to sometimes they need someone to say that word Okay, so well, if someone tells you, I believe in you. Believe in you. If someone said, I believe in you, it's like they're saying, oh, I know you can do this. I trust in you. Um, how, how, right. They're how encouraging would, you. Yes. How would that word make you feel? Oh, it might feel, oh, I can really do this. Since this person believes in me, I will also believe in myself and just do that thing. Okay. What if if someone tells you you have great ideas? You can make, you can make a good idea to make them a house or a toy when you buy them in the shop or make it by yourself at home. Wow, good. <laughs> <laughs> Very <observant>. Certainly. <laughs> yeah, really good. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
and she's I've seen literally everybody that is walking past there. Please can you help me? Please can you help me? Everybody was they were just walking past her. And I was thinking, I was I was going to cross to the other side of the road and she said, excuse me, excuse me, can you help me? I quickly turned back like, okay, I'm going to know what she's asking people for. And I went to her and said, yes, I can help you if you tell me what you want me to do for you. Then she said, can I use your phone to call a data car? Because I wanted to call them and I realized that I have a flat battery. I said, okay. I gave her my phone. She called. I can tell you that since the day she called that data card, the data card has been calling me. They've been sending, <laughs> they be sending me messages. They've been telling me this, that my name is Jill. My name is that. My name is that. Well, these are the things that are very important. If the woman didn't get anybody to call, then she would have been there. Or uh, who knows how long she was going to be there to be begging people. Please pay attention to people, especially the old people. Most of them genuinely need help. Just hear them out. Don't walk past when they say, excuse me, can you help me? You're just walking past as if they are not talking to you. Put yourself in there. You could be in that situation. I'm not saying any of us are going to be in that, but you can never tell what tomorrow will bring. So time waves are here. So the video is going to continue. But we are going to end it here today. We want you to put your own kind, nice words in the comment section. We will continue until we finish the hundred words, kind words that we have listed down here. The last word I'm going to say is, I love you. When somebody says, I love you, Stephanie is the queen of I love you in this house. Stephanie gets up in the morning. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. She, but sometimes she wants something to know. I love you, mom. You are the best. Can I have sweets? Can I have, <laughs> then next thing, she will ask you for something. So that way slips in her mouth. It is because somebody says that words to her always. So if you say kind words to them, they always say it back. And the time that Christopher said, I always say I love you. I love if I, I can call her three times, I say I love you three times. Like if she's going to school, she take a bus and come. Mom and the bus, okay, bye, I love you. Mom, I just changed bus now. I'm going to say, okay, bye, I love you. Mom, I'm in school now. Okay, bye, I love you. Take it. and then she's thinking like, Mom, you should say I love you. Yes, you have to say it. So I we had a video that we made before that we talked about some nice things to say to children so they don't hate outside and be carried away love is not just love they are love and they are love so love the parents the mother give to her children is the purest and the most genuine love so you have to always tell them that you love them please extend these few words that we have mentioned here to people out there share love be kind to people. Help somebody. Touch somebody's life today. So guys, put your own kind words in the comment section. Reach out to people today. Say something nice to someone. Be kind to people out there. Go out there and ask someone, are you okay? Are you alright? Do you need help? Do you want me to, what can I do to help you? Show someone love, okay? The part two, the part three, the part is coming until we finish this hundred words that we have here, okay? If you have watched to this stage and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Touch the red button and subscribe. We appreciate you, our returning subscribers. You are amazing. We love you and we have all the video requests ready so we are just going to be putting them out one after the other okay we have it we haven't forgotten we have about three video requests that we still have so we are going to put them out gradually okay it's not easy to create content yes <clears throat> not number four number five <laughs> Alright 
right guys so thank you so much for watching from the chief family bye everyone don't forget to bang the bell please bang the bell we love you bye